HyperDoc is a great way to enhance your students' learning. To get started, you're going to have to create a brand new Google Doc. As with all new documents you make, it's important to name your file, so click on Untitled Documents and name it. This one is called Ocean's HyperDoc. The first step is to create a table. Head up to the Insert menu, select Table, and from there you can decide how many rows and columns you'll need. This table will be two columns and five rows. The table is a place that will hold your directions as well as the students' responses. The next step is to put in the links and instructions. I created a Google Keep list of five sites that I've already previewed for this activity. So what I do is I type in the instructions, go back to my Google Keep list and copy the link that I want to use. Then return and highlight the text that I want to be my hyperlink. Click on the link button and paste that link in. You can have the entire text be the hyperlink if you wish. That's entirely up to you. Once you have all of your links and information entered, it's time to make the hyperdoc look a little nicer. What you do is highlight the cells, click on the paint bucket, and choose a color. You can also change the font and the size, and you can adjust the column's width by dragging the line in the middle to the left or right. While it's not necessary to make these enhancements, it does make the document look a little nicer for the students and for yourself. You can save time by making a template as well. At the top, please type the directions for the overall lesson. It can be something simple. Be sure you change the font and make it bigger and easy to read so the students can't complain that they didn't see it. There are other things you can add to enhance your HyperDoc as well. In this case, we're adding pictures to fit the theme of the HyperDoc itself. Be sure to move them around, resize them as you see fit. There are other things you can do as well, such as adding colors, changing colors to the fonts, there's a lot of things that you can do. Feel free to explore. After you've fancied up your document, you should scroll down and see how it fits on your page. In this case, one item is lingered down to the second page. So I go to File, then Page Setup, and adjust the margins. Smaller numbers means less margins. You can go down to zero if you need to. To get your freshly made HyperDoc to your students, you have two options. One is through Google Classroom where you can create an assignment. Be sure that when you select your assignment that you select make a copy for each student. That is extremely important so that that way they each have their own individual copy to work with. Your other option is to share your document via email. Just click on the share button, click on get to shareable link. You'll notice right away it says link was copied to the clipboard. Make sure the sharing says can view and not edit. A few final tips. You can use your own Google Docs, slides, sheets, etc. instead of websites in your HyperDoc. Just use the same share button I showed you earlier and use that hyperlink instead of a website. Also be sure to check your links are still active. From time to time websites will just disappear. That's it and good luck with your HyperDoc.